What's up traders, this is Mish from Opinicus Holdings and today I'll be showing you guys the fastest way to execute options with Thinkorswim. Um, we want to start off here with the trade tab and go into active trader. So now that we are in the active trader tab, I'll happily show you guys how everything works and what I love about this thing the most is that you could run up to 28 names via all these cells. So you can select up to 28 different cells like this and pretty much have 28 different active traders but I don't have a screen for that personally so I'll just stick with the factory 2 um, you could have like up to 4 uh, up to 28 it doesn't matter really it's super configurable but for now I'll just run the 2 and with these two with each individual cell you could also adjust that and add up to 3 charts like this or even run um, the level 2 is right here on the side and TNS which is times and sales it's pretty awesome but the main thing that we're going to need to fix is the buy market sell market and um, we want to click this cog right here configure these buttons you want to remove buy and sell market because you don't ever want to buy and sell market you will literally get robbed by the market maker you want to add buy ask buy bid and add sell ask sell bid and we just want to move these up to to the top above the second line. You can have these in any order that you want. You could add extra buttons that you might need. This is all I need. Um, so let's click OK. So now we have buy the ask, join the bid, or join the ask, sell the bid, cancel if you want to cancel that order, or flatten if whatever situation goes bad you could sell the entire position um, to the market so and I'll show you guys exactly how to use it here in a second also I'll go ahead and adjust uh, the chart add my style upload style make this a nice pretty chart switch it to one minute and now let's go into all products and pick our options so here I got Nvidia I'm gonna pick the 300 strike just right click the name or the I'm sorry the option and click copy then back into our active trader and we're gonna load it up into here just paste it click enter and boom we have our option so here we can see exactly what the option cost at whatever the time of the day was and you could pretty much chart your entire options to see like how it acted in the relation to the underlying name and in the time of the day Okay, so from here, let's move on to the order execution. And first thing first, we want to go into setup and application settings and just uncheck a few things. So we're going to go into orders and we're going to uncheck show order confirmation. And we want to make sure that auto send with shift click is checked. Next thing is order defaults. Go into options. And here is going to be the quantity of contracts per click that you're gonna get each time you click buy something in um, Active Trader. So I like to have mine in tens because I'm not balling like that. But you could have it up to all the way into thousands. It doesn't matter. And then increments, I'll have mine in ones. So apply those settings, and, and here we go. Once we're in here, you can see if we hover over the buy in the contract um, you can see it's showing by 10 by 10 because that's the amount of contracts I have selected so here I could go ahead and I could join the bid and bid into the stock um, it gives me that confirmation window and I'm just gonna send it but another way to avoid that is you're gonna want to press down to shift so also I can cancel that order so cancel all and if I want to buy it quickly, I just hold down shift, press the ask, boom, it just filled me. And then one more time, I'm in right away. And then as soon as I want to sell, I'm going to sell to all the bidders, sell some. And see, they got my orders pending. Let's take those orders off. And it looks like some of them got filled. 
but this is pretty much how you use it. You just want to hold down shift and press any of these desired buttons and either buy the ask and you're instantly in and then sell to the bids and you're instantly out. Or in case you bought a bunch and the situation goes bad on you, you just want to flatten and sell them all to market. And you can see we got our profit slash loss here at the bottom. Um, and like I, like I said, if you want to do anything, it could be done via all these buttons here. So I'm going to sell all this to market just to be out. And you could have this same thing. So let's say we have another screen where we're watching, let's say, five different stocks. Well, here we could have five different cells or six different cells loaded up all with the desired option and all with the buttons loaded up ready to go so pretty much once we see our chart on the other screen doing exactly what we wanted to trigger an entry we can just hit a button in any one of these cells and it's going to be go mode it's a great way to quickly execute in and out of the options and that is something that i recommend you guys use as well